What's good, Wavy Gang? It's Wavy Marty. I'm coming at you guys with another video here. So I gotta make this intro really quick, y'all, because Ari G is actually in the bathroom right now as I'm filming this, bro. But today I'm coming at y'all with a prank video today, man. So as y'all can see by that title and thumbnail, today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pranking Ari G's and telling her I hate her to see how she reacts. Chat, I don't know how this video gonna go, bro. Not gonna lie, because I never say I hate my girlfriend, bro. So I don't know if she's gonna have like an emotional reaction. I don't know if she's not gonna care, bro. I don't know if she's gonna think I'm playing. I don't know what to think, bro. But I'm gonna just set the camera up, bro. Act like I'm not even filming. So, if y'all new to the channel, man, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We on that road to 5k. <laughs> Everybody feel about me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but honestly, like, yeah, it get it get like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can I say? Like, not even depressing. It get like lonely sometimes. You know what I'm saying? For the simple fact that like I don't got friends and shit like that. So like, I like, be looking at it like, fuck it, bro. Like, like, I know my dreams is like bigger, bro. Like, no cap. So, and I don't care about having friends, bro. Like, I saw some shit was like. Nigga, it don't matter, like, it doesn't matter the amount of friends you got. Like, it just matters, like, if you got the right friends. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Until I find the right friends, bro, then I'll be dope. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm my family and shit. So, man, I'll be dope until I find the right friends, bro. Because I ain't trying to be around no fake ass energy, bro. Like, that's one thing I swear, bro, I can't do. Bro. I can't fake kick it, bro. I can't fake kick it. Like, I can't sit here and act like, you know, I'm okay with a motherfucker when I'm not, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that shit. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, we ain't friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be a bitch. Yeah, nah, that too, though. That too, bro. Like, not even just, like, the, none, the no friends part, bro. Like, nigga, it's literally, like, nothing to do right now, bro. Like, no cap. But, nigga, you gotta think, like, the New Year's just happened, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just probably got finished partying and shit like that. And people probably doing shit. People probably getting back to work and shit right now. It's Monday. You know what I'm saying? People probably either at the gym right now, going to work. You know what I'm saying? Doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the middle of the day. We got each other. We got each other, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, I told you this shit before, bro. Like, nigga, it could be, like, not a lot to do. You know what I'm saying? Right now at the moment. But, like, if I got you there, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. Because, nigga, I promise you, if you wasn't here right now, Shit would be 10 times worse, bro. 10 times worse. I would be so bored, bro. I would probably be, like, even depressed, bro. No cap, because, like, nigga, it get, like, lonely and depressing. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't got nobody to talk to, nobody to vent to and shit like that. So, bro, like, nigga, a situation like that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's wicked right now, you know what I'm saying? We don't got nothing to do. We don't got no friends right now to chill with and shit like that. But, like, in situations, you gotta, like, sometimes look at, like, the blessing in the situation, and you know, like, nigga, this is a blessing, bro. Like, being able to be with each other. Some couples can't be with each other right now. Like, no cap, you know what I'm saying? Some couples are separated. Some couples is, like, you know what I'm saying, going through shit right now. We on good terms right now, my nigga. You feel me? We together. We spending time with each other and shit. So, nigga, it's like the positives I look at, bro. You feel what I'm saying? In a negative situation. Like, I'm gonna start really trying to do that more this year, bro. Like, because if I, like, flood myself up, like, how you was just saying, like, yeah, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad type shit. You feel what I'm saying? If I... If I do that shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? It, it's literally, like, I'm going to just, like, like, bring myself down, bro, to a point where, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got no motivation type shit. And I ain't trying to be on that type time in 2024, bro. Like, no cap. In every situation, like, I'm going to try to find, like, some light and some positives in the situation, no matter what it is, bro. No matter how messed up or fucked up the situation may be, you feel me? Like, I'm going to try to find something positive about it. Bro. What's this Monopoly Go shit you be playing, bro? I be seeing you and your mom be playing that shit. That shit fun? Um, I don't play it no more. Word. Like that. Word. Mm -hmm. I don't gonna lie, one time I was in the channel mall and it was like a couple months ago, bro. And I was like, I don't know what I was doing, I don't know if I was cupping some shit or I was promoting my shit. 
But like, nigga, I walked in that motherfucker. It was mad people playing that one game, Pokemon Go, bro. I'm talking about like, bro. It wasn't just like like one, maybe like a group. Like you probably thinking I'm talking about like just like one big ass group. Like nah, nigga. Like I will be walking past like groups and groups of groups and groups of niggas playing this shit, bro. Like nigga, I'll be walking through the like literally. I'll be walking through the mall. Nigga, be literally people, like, standing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, around, playing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I would be, like, literally trying to find people to ask to subscribe to my shit. So, I would see their phone, obviously, when I walk up to them and shit. Nigga, I swear, RDGs, like, 80% of people in this fucking channel mall was playing Pokemon Go, bro. I had to ask somebody, but nigga, because, like, all these people playing it and shit. And, like, one, bro, it had me tight one time, my nigga, because, like, nigga, the one nigga that I asked, bro, this nigga was like, uh, no, I can't subscribe right now. You feel me? I'm busy doing something right now. Nigga, all the nigga was doing was playing Pokemon Go. Moved on from that nigga and shit. So then I asked another nigga. I'm like, all right, bro. So, like, what's all these niggas doing in here playing Pokemon Go, bro? Like, what's going on and shit like that? Like, you see? Man? Nigga was like, I guess it's like a tournament or some shit going on or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody on that shit active right now. But I swear in my entire life, I've never seen so many people in a mall like playing a game like that bro i'm talking like kids adults like everybody was playing that shit bro i'm like damn like fuck going on like it's some money behind this shit or something like everybody playing po like bro i promise you bro everybody was playing that shit yeah it was popular a couple years ago couple years that's what i'm saying a couple years ago but nigga i'm talking about this happened like two or three months ago type shit like i didn't think pokemon go was like jumping like that you know what i'm saying like i see a couple people playing that shit but like nigga I walk through that dish, everybody playing Pokemon Go, bro. Like, literally, everybody. I'm like, damn, like, am I missing out on some shit? Did you ever play that shit when you was, uh, when that shit was jumping for? Me neither, bro. You really liked the Pokemon? Yeah, bro. I tried to, like, get into it because my cousin was jacking that shit OD, but, like, I never could get into that shit for. I, I don't even understand it for, like, that, bro. I need to get my charm shit set up, bro. Like, no cap. So I can have, like, another card, bro. Like, because I got, like, my regular bank card. I got, like, my cash app card. I need my chomp card, bro. Like, nigga, they said they sent that shit to me, like, on December 5th. But, nigga, I swear, I ain't get nothing in the mail, bro. Like, nothing. And I guess I can activate my shit, like, on the app right now. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's going to, like, give me access to, like, do Apple Pay and shit. But, nigga, like, what do I do, like, if I don't, like, got that shit, bro? You know what I'm saying? I dead ass don't got no card right now. Wow. Check out the mail, Bro, I don't know. Because, like, you know, they be going through the mail and shit, you feel me? So, I don't know if they, like, look through that shit and just didn't think nothing of it or some shit. Like, I gotta ask them, bro, because, nigga, like, that's important, bro. Like, nigga, that's a whole other shit I can put my money on, bro. No cap. And, like, you know, like, my bank, bro, sometimes niggas be literally taking money out my shit, bro, like, on some shit. So, like, I'm thinking, like, nigga, when I get that shit set up, like, completely for real, bro, I could start, like, stashing my money in my Chime account more than, like, my bank account type shit. And if niggas didn't want to take money, they, they can't even do it no more type shit. You yeah, feel me? You Cause... Have your card, yeah, bro. You don't have to. You don't have no card. How do you do that shit? I was just going to ask you, like, how do you do that? I don't know how to pay for it, bro. Oh, that's... Bro, that's BT. Bro, that's violation, bro. Mm -hmm. That's violation, nigga. I never get a fucking card, and these niggas going really make me... How much that shit cost? I'm not sure. You have to report it lost. Oh, uh, yeah, that's BT. That was a BT. Uh, have you ever had to do one? Like, get a new one? Cash out. Cash out, that's, that's it? Uh, I never lost my charm card. I don't even remember getting no charm card, though, bro. I swear, like, nobody told me about no charm card. Nobody told me I got no mail or nothing like that, nigga. So, I don't know if they sent it to the wrong address or what, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though, RG. You went cool in my hair this time, though, bro. Like, no cap. Like yeah, bro. Like this shit go crazy, nigga. Like I'm glad I got some flips yesterday too for the grand fresh off the uh the twist, bro. No cap. Mm -hmm. Like I think I did that shit last time, bro. I took an Instagram flip. Like I had a haircut and then that same day, you know what I'm saying? We took mm -hmm. some flicks and shit. Like, yeah, you did. No cap, bro. Niggas gonna start doing that shit, bro. Niggas gonna take fresh pictures, fresh cut. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit gonna be a movie, bro. Niggas gonna have to cop some more drip, bro. No cap. I might get them black and white, uh, them panda dunks. Yeah, those are fun. Those are dope right there. Yeah, bro. Niggas might get some matching panda dunks, bro. No cap. When I get, cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm not finna cop you a new pair of shoes and not cop you a new pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But honestly, if you can't get both right there, I think you should just get shorts. Get like what? Shoes? Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, because all I really need right now, bro, is I want to take another flick real soon. So, like, all I really need for another flick right now is probably, like, them shoes, them black and white pandas, and some new jeans. Like, mm -hmm. no cap. Like, I hope, like, we go to that one store that we went to last time, and they got a deal on the jeans that they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pasta? Yeah, because them jeans I got from there was fire, bro. Mm -hmm. No cap. So, hopefully I get some more pain, bro, because... Niggas trying to take some more flick. I'm trying to take a lot more pictures in 2023, bro. I, or, I, 2023, nigga. 2024, I'm tweaking. Yeah. Where are you looking at for Hollister? Hollister be having some pain, too. Mm -hmm. No cap. Hollister got that heat, bro. The jeans be only $25 sometimes. Damn, 25 for the jeans? I ain't gonna lie. I think I paid a bag for the jeans at Aeropost. What is that, Aeroposto? Mm -hmm. I think that shit was like, like a 60 altogether. And it would have been more than that. Yeah. But one was like, buy one, get one free, right? Mm -hmm. God damn. Yeah. Nigga, these mm -hmm. ones were paying like almost $200 for some jeans? Yeah, that's like American Eagle. I love them jeans. Those, they, but they like 65 just for one pair. Psh, nigga, what? Right. Yeah, jeans, that's good quality stretchy. Why is jeans so fucking expensive, bro? I don't know, I don't know, because you can get them cheap at once. Yeah. It just depends on the brand and the quality, I guess. You think I should take some more flicks, like, whenever, you know what I'm saying, I get a haircut and shit? Mm-hmm. No cap, bro. I should take some more flicks, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, some more pictures of it, bro. Bro, getting fly is really therapeutic, bro. Like, no cap, like, bro, I be looking at my Instagram, bro. I don't know if you do this shit, R.E.B., but I be looking at my Instagram over and over again. I be like, yo, I'm really some fly-ass, you nigga, bro. Yeah, bro. Or, like, I'll just scroll through my story over and over again, bro. I'll be like, damn, like, yo, I'm really some cool-ass nigga when I think about it, bro. Like, yeah, no, I do that when I post a picture of a story. Yeah, bro. I constantly look at my picture of a story. Uh, if it's a story, sometimes I'll constantly look at it because I'll be like, if I look at my pictures too long, I stop liking my pictures. But I can't look at my stuff too long. Word. But like, if I post them, yeah. But most times, if it's like a story type, I'll never be liking it because I can't stare at my pictures too long without stopping liking them. Nah, facts. Facts. Nah, you was on that type of time with the uh, camera angles yesterday, though. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. You was on the ground like these. You was like these. You was like these. You had them. Bro, REGs was on that type of time with the camera, bro. No cap. Like, REG is my photographer. I don't know how I get that quote out here, though. Like, nigga, it be brick, bro. Like, nigga, you would think this shit, like, back east or some shit, bro, how cold it get out here, bro. Like, I don't think it's that snow. Literally, that's it, bro. That's literally it, bro. Niggas don't get snow. But I heard one time it snowed out here, bro. My grandma and my mom told me, like, when they, not even my mom, my grandma, when she lived out here a couple years ago, nigga, it snowed. Like, out here in the yeah, valley, type. Like, yeah, in the valley. They don't never get no snow out here, but it happened like once, bro. Oh, actually, we had a hill before. Hill? Uh -huh. Nah, hill is crazy. Don't that shit like hurt? Like that shit get on your body, nigga? That shit could like cut yeah, you type shit? Because hill could get up to the size of a golf ball. Oh, no. Nah. Or a baseball. They could get really big. See, nah. Hill is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. I bet you already do be the type to fucking want to drive in some hill. You will want to drive in some hell, my nigga. You be trying to drive in them extreme ass I weather think, conditions. Depending on how bad the hell is, honestly, because it's too big to drive and it's gonna sound like it might break the window. Nah, facts. So if you saying that shit the size of a damn fucking baseball, then nigga, that shit definitely gonna break the window. Yeah. Going full speed down? Yeah. It's over with. Falling from the sky. It's over with. Ice. But I did drive in hell. Not me drove in hell, but like I rode in hell before. Really? My mom drove in Milwaukee one time in hell. It was hell and rain is so freaking bad. Damn. And it started when we was driving home. So she just kept driving in it. I thought it was cool for me. Damn. I was more of about like that extreme weather. Because I was right here. We had a tornado watch. I used to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have a tornadoes in Milwaukee? No. But we would get tornado watches sometimes, though, depending on the weather. Because like, sometimes it'd be like raining, but sunny is ever hot. It was really OD out there sometimes, so like we couldn't get like turn that one, but turn that one touch down. Word. But they said one time a turn over did touch down for a little bit. Damn. But it's like a city. So y'all niggas got basements out there? Mm -hmm. Attics? Facts, facts. Mm -hmm. Niggas got basements in Jersey. Bro, our basements like might be a little different from y'all. 
Why you say that? Because like, like you know how you like y'all's like apartments type. Oh, that's just the one that I was in, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't speak for any other basements, mm -hmm. but like the basement that I was living in for a little while, like that shit was that I set up like a two bedroom. Like I had two bedrooms, a wash, uh, not a wash, a um, laundry room down there and shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it was set up like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my grandma had it set up like that or yeah, refurnished. She probably did, bro. Mm -hmm. No cash. Probably had it refurnished and shit. Yeah, people be doing that. They get their basement done because like you can buy a house with like a not fancy basement. Yeah. Like a nigga, what? That's good bread, though, nigga. You could rent your basement out, man. Mm -hmm. Would you do that shit, though? Like, have somebody, random ass nigga, stand in your shit? Nah, I probably wouldn't do that shit either, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, did y'all basement have doors? Yeah, that's the thing. So, in our basement, bro, it was low key valid, because, like, nigga, you didn't have to go out the front door type shit. You feel me? Like, it had, like, a back door type shit, so you could go right in the basement, like, in the, um, in the, what you call it? In the, not in the back hallway, like in the backyard, bro. You go in the backyard, and it's a door. Literally, you go open that door, bro, and it's a door to get in the house, and then it's the basement door right next to it, my nigga. And it's literally like that door right there. You feel me? Open that bitch, go downstairs. You in the basement, so like it's like we had a way out and a way in. We didn't have to go up, like go up upstairs and go out type shit just to get out. Like it, it was an option where we could go upstairs, like and open that shit if we want to, but niggas never did because nigga, it'll be niggas living upstairs. You feel what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's something like that in Austin. Yeah. I go back to like the front door. Yeah. That you can use to go downstairs to the basement or walk up or go upstairs and go in the house. Mm hmm. It's a little bit. Well, something ain't no door to the basement, huh? That's ass, bro. Like, imagine, like, you living in that motherfucker, you gotta walk through, like, a whole ass family's, like, a house or some shit while they having a whole ass conversation. Yeah. Like, sorry, just, just dropping by, just about to go to work, and yeah. these niggas are sitting here having a whole conversation. Yeah, no, all our basements was, like, inside our house, so, like, they didn't have no doors in the basement. You just walk downstairs. Yeah, see. Well, one of our houses had a door to the basement one day. See, nah. But it wasn't no door. You could go outside. Like, yeah, type shit. That was valid for our shit, but like, niggas had a, a door, like, to the outside and to go back inside type shit. So that's good, especially if it's a fire or some shit, mm -hmm. too, bro. Like, nigga, if it's a fire, niggas could just go right out that door. One time somebody broke in our house and, um... Me and Big Yop was there, and um, these niggas broke in our house through the basement for years, like a, months. We didn't know how the niggas got in. We thought they came in through our patio door in the living room, because we thought, like, for the longest, we were blaming each other. All of us were blaming each other, like, who didn't put the little thing back in there to keep it locked. And yeah, the whole time it was in there, nobody put that out. The niggas just came in through our basement window. God damn. Yeah, so I guess apparently we didn't know that you're supposed to buy like an extra lock on your basement window because it unlocked for sure. So we was living there all them years so like our basement window unlocked. And so them niggas came in, opened it, and broke in our house that way. What? Yeah, so we just don't talk about it. It was crazy. Though. Nigga, I never had my house broken into before, bro. Like, no cap. That's one thing I, that's never happened to me. That shit crazy, nigga. Like, what? It was the craziest thing. Like, nigga, we just, it was so crazy. We got home from school. I was, I was, we had ate our little food and stuff. I went upstairs and I was changing my uh, to my uniform to my regular clothes. And the niggas broke in our house. They was downstairs the whole time. Did you see them when they broke in? Um, I seen them like run down the stairs after I came out my room. But like, I didn't know they was in there. I didn't hear them big yacht, the one who told me like, cause somebody walked upstairs in his room and they opened the door because they thought nobody was there. And when they seen him was in there, they all like just ran out the house. Word. But it was so good. Like, it was a good thing. Okay, my brother's room first and not mine's because our room was literally like his door right here and my door like this. Yeah. So instead of opening my door to the right, they opened his door. Damn, my nigga. And it was not like I was changing for my clothes. Damn, bro. So when my brother bust in the room, <laughs> oh, he was like, L police, bro. L police, like, no cap. From the time the niggas broke in and everything, that window was open until that maintenance man found it. L police, bro. Cause how y'all niggas doing an investigation and y'all don't know how the fuck they broke in the house, man? That's why. The whole time, like when they seen the window was open downstairs, somebody had a fingerprint on the window. 
Oh shit, nigga, that would have been fucking. You would have got it right there, bro. Yeah. No cap. I ain't gonna lie, RG. I hate you, bro. I'm gonna call my mom. It was bad. So no, that shit, bro. Should've. We just seen the house part. I was a friend. I was a super fan. Nah, no, I'm a dead ass, though. Like, I really hate you, bro. I really hate Shut you. Shut up. Like, like, I genuinely, like, I really hate you, like, and it's not a personal shit, you feel me, but, like, it just, I got a strong hate in my body towards you, but I still hate you, though. <laughs> nah, bro, it's a prank, it's a prank, I'm filming right now, my nigga. Oh, it's a prank. I was saying, I hate you, bro, I wanted to see how you would react. Oh, I didn't hear that you I had to prank her real quick, man. You feel me? I was hoping I would get a better reaction. No cap, bro. Because I be saying I hate her on some playing shit all the time, bro. You feel me? So that she probably thought I was playing. Yeah, bro. no, I did. Make sure if y'all enjoyed this prank, y'all share this video with two people. Like I always tell y'all, man. And don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so y'all know every time I upload.